Hello reformers and welcome back to Gekakujo 3.1 with the what is it now the Sugo Roku submod yes I seem to always forget what that is but anyway as you can see here we have come across a battle between Lord Sukuma and Lord Sakakabi Yaureya yes that person Saka Kibara? Yeah, okay. Let's just ignore that for a second. Move in to help. Yes, we're going to move in to help because, of course, we are now a mercenary of the Oda clan. And if you missed all the events in the previous episode, I highly recommend checking it out. It was actually pretty cool for the most part. Obviously, I, <laughs> I have, yeah, kind of gotten shot multiple times. And, yeah, the tournaments are relatively difficult when you, you know, get killed so easily. But, ah, oh, well, it's fine. Now, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to try and keep my infantry back because I personally don't want to lose anyone. I don't really mind, you know, our allies going in there and losing as many units as they need to lose because obviously the enemies, they don't have that many. No, they don't have that many and we are outnumbering them considerably. I, I thought it was a nice idea to maybe just start attacking here or shall we say start recording here because it seems like a pretty nice battle to start off with. Now these, shall we say, uh, these weapons, these, uh, what, what are they now, pole arms, these Yari pole arms or something or other, I have to get one of those because it seems like the piercing damage or the thrusting damage that they are able to do is just so incredible that I really do think that it would make a huge difference to our, shall we say, effectiveness, maybe? I mean, it, they just seem to do so much damage. Let's see if I can do a little bit more damage here. Now, do bear in mind that this series is not particularly me trying to be the best that I can be. I'm just playing the game as anyone would and I'm just you know having a nice little journey with Bruce Beartilt here and if you don't really want to you know see the journey and see all the trials and tribulations that he goes through and that I go through alongside him then you know that's all very well and good so you know you can just relax chill out have a nice fun time you know watching my terrible terrible style of play sometimes sometimes I'm actually pretty good but most of the time you know <laughs> things don't always work out as I plan so yeah just bear that in mind I'm not taking things extremely seriously and neither should you because obviously if I'm not taking it seriously then you shouldn't take it seriously oh there we oh look at that oh oh, oh yeah we survived we survived now I have to be careful not to run into a tree because no doubt that guy is gonna have my number if I do so I need to be a little bit careful here I'm gonna try and just swing around maybe I can do a little bit of damage to these guys I don't really mind getting taken out right now because you know, it's nice to maybe get a little bit of experience in exchange. What I would like to see, actually, is kind of like a risk or reward type thing, where maybe the lower you are in terms of HP, the more experience you get. I don't know. I don't know whether that could actually work, but I mean, it's kind of a bit more of an arcadey game feature rather than actually something that is trying to be a medieval combat simulator so you know it's it's probably not going to work out too well here but you know maybe in some of the more extravagant mods you know blood and steel comes to mind and paradigm worlds and all the all the things that don't really take themselves too seriously and are meant more for fun rather than historical accuracy anyway there you go we have no casualties whatsoever of course and the enemy has been completely eliminated so now we do get to improve our relations with lord sakama which is very nice, as well as the Oda clan getting a little bit of extra... Ooh, we actually get to take him prisoner. I'm going to do that. And let's just actually see here. How are we doing with everyone? Tokugawa clan doesn't like us. Oh, we're doing absolutely fine. I am perfectly fine with that. Okay, so now we have a bunch of space, and I can take a bunch of extra units, which are, of course, going to help us to maybe take Midera. I would very much like to take Midera as soon as possible, but really depends how that goes, because obviously I don't think I have the units for it just yet, but let's actually just see whether that is indeed the case. So there you go. Okay, that, that probably didn't give us too much. Uh, yes, okay, so there has been a little bit of a narrative running in the background so far. Mailing and Mari do not like each other. As you can see here, yeah, uh, Mei Ling is 
quite brutal. And, you know, uh, it, Mari does not like that. So, yeah, tell Mari you have my support in this and she should hold her tongue. I'm pretty sure she's going to leave relatively soon, Mari. So, I'm kind of just keeping her around just so that she can gain a couple of levels and things. But, yeah, she's actually equipping gear that I don't really want her to have. <laughs> which is not very good. So, I don't know whether... I don't really... I'm just going to leave her with that, to be honest. Because... I think that's fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take her a bit down there so that Mei Ling has a bit more priority. I hope that that is actually the way it works. But if it isn't, then so be it. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so we do have a Lord in our Prisoner's Hold now. So now I'm actually thinking... Oh, hello, Francisco. You're still wearing the women's robes, are you? It must be the bells of a Buddhist temple. We must be near Joguchi Monastery. I do apologize for my pronunciation if any of you do actually speak Japanese. Yeah, just bear in mind that I am English and I am very bad at language. So, yeah, there you go. Anyway, okay, so back home in Europe, we Jesuits are considered militaristic. Brother Ignacio de Loyola was a knight, kind of like a samurai. Okay, he based our order on his experiences in war, but these Buddhists, oh, oh, yes, these Buddhists are absolutely terrible. <laughs> no. Okay, so let's go into the tavern here. I would like to see... If there's anything that I can do, no, it doesn't seem like it. Now, otherwise, what I think I'm... Wait a minute. Why does the Oda clan only have one town? Wow, that's weird. Okay, so apparently the Miyoshi clan is a lot more powerful in terms of at least having three towns than the Oda clan is. I'm actually really surprised about that because, you know, the Oda clan is known for being, you know, very strong, I suppose. Maybe I'm getting that a little bit incorrect, because I don't really know that much about, you know, history in Japan and things like that, so do forgive me. Now, let's see. Am I going to tackle any of these guys? I'm actually unsure. Should I speak to Great Lord Oda? Maybe I should speak... Ah, oh, no. Maybe I should just go and help him and actually see what these monk rebels are like. I'd actually like to see what they're like in combat so that we can ascertain whether Midera would actually be out of our reach at the moment as I do believe that they have a bunch of monk rebels there, so it might be making a little bit of sense just to try things out somewhat. Do they have spears? Oh, they kind of do. They kind of do have... No, it's not really spears, but they have pole arms of sorts, so a little bit worried about that. Now, the Oda clan does have Hatamoto cavalry and Hatamoto gunners, so I'm pretty interested to see how that goes, because I'm, I'm pretty sure that having some Hatamoto gunners alongside some cavalry would be an absolutely devastating combination. So I hope that that will be the case. As you can see, the monk rebels actually did fall pretty easily. I was able to kill them by myself, but obviously we were on a horse. Yes, my name is Bruce Bertold. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so yes. There is one item. Really? One item? Ragged monk's clothes. Okay, I'm just going to leave that. Thank you very much. Okay. A fine battle that was. And yeah, as you can see here, Francisco actually does like Teruyo, so I'm pretty happy with that. She managed to include their genealogy, their appearance, and their eating habits in a well-framed no-song. I personally prefer the opera, but we Europeans respect poetic craft work when we hear it. Oh, very good. Very good. I know someone, a certain someone, Elias, for example, would say, I see, in that particular moment, but yes, okay, we'll, we'll just go, we'll just go with that. So, can I ask something really fast? Why are none of my units leveling up? Obviously, uh, well, that's the thing. Surely some of them can level up. So, for example, these Miyoshi retainers, they can't be... I mean, they're not that high a level, so technically they should level up reasonably quickly, but apparently not. All right, so there's a truce expiring between the Oda clan and someone else, and we don't really need to worry about that, I suppose, just yet until they actually declare it. And I'm going to be heading over to Midera quite soon, because we do have about 50 units. And I think if we have a little bit of luck, we might actually be able to pull off a pretty nice victory. Because then we can just wait there and, well, get some extremely nice, unique units. And we can actually garrison units in there as well. So we could have about 200 to 300 units in there if I actually do my job properly. And... Yeah, I think we'll be in a really, really good... Oh my. 
Yeah, we'll be in a really good position. Okay, so you had been travelling with the scouts when you decided to split away and return to the main body. All of a sudden you hear a kind of sucking noise. Oh, yeah, when I say it in that way, then it sounds a lot worse than it is, or maybe isn't, I don't know. A ronin adventurer doing something obscene with some veteran hired warriors. Okay, yeah. I don't know who you are, but I cannot let you escape and reveal my presence to the world. I don't know what you're talking about. This is all a misunderstanding, but I can see that it is too late to explain. Alright, you get ready to fight them. Alright, so let's do this. Now this is at night, which I don't really like, because at night means that things are bad. Things are very, very bad, and oh no. Okay, let's see if we can headshot this guy. Or not. Oh, uh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Things are bad. Things are very, very bad. Ooh, maybe not. Look at this. Look at this weapon. What? This weapon is insane. Okay, let's try and block that, and then... Whoa. I... I don't even know why I'm hesitating taking Midera, because do you see how powerful that weapon is? I, I didn't even know. Okay, better them than you. They won't need their samurai outfit anymore, so you take it along with 8mon. Alright, well, there you go. So thank you very much for that samurai outfit. Okay, so hopefully I've restored myself back to full HP. There is a hardened samurai outfit. Obviously, it's not very good for me right now. I do need to get another helm, so I'm actually thinking I'll take Mari's helm because I'm thinking that she's probably going to leave relatively soon, so I don't really need to worry about that. There we go. And that's a little bit better. That gives us 38 protection. So I think that's pretty nice. Okay, so we're going to go over to Midera now, because I think it's about time that we actually try to do something there. I'd actually like to take a look at our weekly budget first. We are getting a mercenary payment of 200. Yeah, it does not have the same, shall we say, adaptability that Pendor does in terms of the mercenary payment, but I think that maybe that, sure, shall we say, maybe that feature in Pendor maybe is a little bit too powerful at times, because you're able to have any any kind of army you want, so a little bit weird there, but okay, so it seems like we actually might get an opportunity to test our metal against some monk rebels, I wouldn't actually mind doing this, and how many archers do we have? Seven, oh, okay, well, seven is... Seven is not too bad. I'm a little bit worried about this, though, because, well, as we all know, our infantry are not actually that good, so I am a bit worried. Now, let's just see if I'm able to do something here. Maybe I'll be able to get a couple of headshots, or at the very least, at least kill someone. Can I Can I at least kill someone? No? Yes? Okay, I did actually hit someone there. That's amazing. Okay, these guys all have pole arms of sorts, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Okay, so let's just try and move away a little bit, and... Oh, they all have guns too! Oh, this is this is great. Oh, yes, very nice. They all have guns. Yeah, take that. Okay, take that nine damage. Take it back home and, you know, write it in your diary. Yes, but Bruce Bertil did nine damage to me today. Yes, I went home and found some white rice on the table, and I found out that shooting a gun with 110 damage was very effective. Oh, there he goes! Look at him! Did you see him sliding? <laughs> that was insanely funny. Oh, yeah. That is always very funny. Okay, so let's just hope that the pole arms that these m monk rebels have are not actually going to be that good, and hopefully Francisco will survive, because I believe he's the one with the most surgery, and... And that will mean that we'll have a much better time of things. As you can see, everything seems to actually be dying relatively fast. Obviously, I was kind of expecting to get killed by the gunners, because, you know, that's what they do. That is what they do. The gunners just literally destroy everything in their path. So, you know, it's, it's kind of to be expected. And it's hilarious, actually, because in the previous series, I think, I don't even know, almost, I think it's three or four years ago now, previous series of Gekukuja that I did, I would always mock the gunners of the opposing faction, because at that time, the gunners were very inaccurate. I don't know how inaccurate they are right now. It seems like they're okay, you know, they're not that bad, but back then I would always mock them. I would always be like, oh, these gunners are absolutely awful. They can't hit anything. And then as soon as I said that, you know what would happen? Mm, yeah, yeah. Then I'd get hit in the face with a musket ball and die instantly as a result. So <laughs> I'm going to try and learn from that and not say that any further. So yeah, I, I don't know why I died there. I, mm, I have no idea why I died there. I must have just 
you know, eaten a, another musket ball. But I didn't, I didn't taunt them this time. I did not taunt them, so... Yeah, there is that. Now, do bear in mind there that the ninjas apparently do something in sieges. They seem to make things a little bit easier in the sieges. So I am, I'm actually kind of anxious to find out what that actually is. Okay, let's let our heroes select a couple of things, and yeah, it seems like <laughs> it seems like Mari does not even like this head armor. It seems as though she's saying that this is absolutely awful. Why am I wearing this? It's absolutely terrible. All right. So did I actually level up? No, I didn't. Oh, well, that's a shame. Okay. Well, other than that, it seems like no one else leveled up either. Okay. So now we can just make our way on. I'm actually just going to go into the fortress here. I'm just going to rest a little bit and ah Yanagawa castle has been besieged by great lord Shimazu okay well we don't need to worry about him or any of that right now I just need to watch out and make sure that I always participate in the sieges and the big battles that the Oda clan are doing because if I do that then I can gain some good experience maybe gain some rescued prisoners and obviously some extra loot is always a nice idea now, obviously, the main problem, as you can see right now, is that the Oda clan are at war against the Miyoshi clan. So as a result of that, the lacquer works at Kyoto is under sequestration, which is really grinding my gears right there. Oh, and the Date clan has declared war against the Oda clan. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? Isn't the Date clan right here? No, that's the Asakura clan. Okay, so where is the Date clan? Are they over here? No, nope, that's the Takata clan. All right. <laughs> oh, my. Like, I think the Date clan's up here, actually. Nope, nope, never mind. Well, it's not it's not these guys. That's the Hojo clan. I know them. Satomi, Date, Sataki, no. There's the Date clan. Okay, well, <laughs> what are they going to do? What are they going to do? They're so far away. I don't even know where they're going over there. Okay, never mind. Let's go to Midera. Let's finally go to Midera and see what's actually going on there. I am a little bit worried about running into the, the Miyoshi clan, though. As you can see, there are a bunch of vassals here, including Great Lord Miyoshi himself. Probably don't want to deal with him, thank you very much. No, that would be absolutely awful. So, yeah, if I can actually get past Kyoto and get into Midera, then we might actually have a really good opportunity to do this. But, I don't know. It's probably going to be one of those things where I think I can do it, but I am overestimating my capability so much that it just turns into an absolute farce. And if it does, then that's my bad, and I do apologize, but I am really wanting to get this. Come on, let's 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 do it. We can we can hopefully do this. Okay, so what do they have? They have Jimon monk warriors, they have monk rebels, like we knew like, like, like we know. They also have hired warriors and hired gunners. Now obviously the hired warriors we know and the hired gunners we know, so they're actually not even that good. So if we just, you know, rest here for a little bit there we go, yeah, okay, I like to attack in the early morning usually, so, its defenses are bristling, and its defenders look ready to meet any threats, let us attack the temple and see what we are met with, okay, so where are we right here, okay, well, they do have a bunch of gunners, which is going to make things very, very painful for us, but hopefully our fast-moving units like the peasant man, <laughs> like the peasant man, yes, hopefully they're going to make a good difference to us here and yeah otherwise hopefully this is going to mean that we will be victorious I don't really want to use my bow right now because if I use my bow I'm going to be standing still and I personally feel like standing still against a, an overwhelming amount of gunners is probably not going to be the best thing to do now do bear in mind that they outnumber us anyway so I need to be very very careful when it comes to actually attacking them and everything so let's just try and do some overheads here because obviously overheads are going to be the most damaging as most people do not have very good helms so hopefully that's going to mean that we will be in a really really good position as you can see we're actually doing a lot of damage right here let's block that thank you take that guy out there's level 17 for bruce berthild and maybe we can actually yes it seems like we're doing this fantastic and yeah there's apparently a number of other shall we say structures on the map that are similar to this and i would very much like to take those as well because they all apparently recruit unique units every seven days. So if we're able to do that, you know, and actually get those unique units, then I think we might be in with a really, really good shot of making our own faction very, very soon. And if we're able to launch a siege against, 
I don't even know. I, I that, That's the thing. I don't even know what faction to wage war against. Because in my previous playthroughs, I've always had about, I don't know, 200 days. Maybe, maybe more than that. 200 days or so. And at that point, most of the factions have been at war for quite some time. And as a result of that, their defenses are pretty weak. So it's always a nice opportunity to, you know, obviously try and make your own faction from one of those weakened factions. So I'm hopefully going to be able to do something like that. But, you know, I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you because you know how it is. Sometimes you really, really want to get something. Oh, no. You really want to get something going. But some of the time it's just not possible because, you know, you get screwed over by one of the vassals who decides that he wants to bring Great Lord Miyoshi over there or something, you know, it's that kind of thing. So hopefully we're not going to have any problems and we'll be, you know, having a bit of a smooth sailing experience, which would actually be kind of nice. Now, as you can see, we actually only have 12 units remaining. I am very, very damaged, which is going to mean that if I get hit once, I'm probably dead. But I'm going to try and hope that I will not have that happen to me. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, no. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, assist me. Yes, there we go. Okay, that's what we need. Okay, come on, yes, yes, kill him. Okay, phew, I think we might actually be able to do this. Okay, so there's eight of us remaining, 14 of them. Oh, no, there's a, there's a nice block from us, and hopefully we can just kill him. Come on, kill him. Yes, thank you. Okay, phew. Alright, so, yeah, a bit tense, a bit tense. Now, they do have a number of gunner towers and archery nests and things like that, and I'm very worried about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run over to the opposite side and see if I can take out the gunner over there, because if we are stationary for any second, we have a much greater chance of dying. And even now, even now, I am very, very vulnerable because I am walking up this tower. It's very slow because obviously going upstairs in this heavy armor is very, very slow. Let's try and see if I can just cleave him. There we go. Kill that guy. And now maybe... Should I use, should I use my bow? No, no, I should not. Ooh, okay, that was close. Oh, that was, that, was, that was also close. Okay, yeah, I do not want to do that. I do not want to do that. There are a bunch of gunners looking at me as soon as I get up there and draw my bowstring, so I do not want to do that. I do not want to die. Thank you very much. So let's just try and take these guys out. There we go. They're not being very observant, and I'm able to slice them absolutely cleanly. And there you go. I think that is a victory. There's two enemies remaining. Wouldn't be amusing if I get killed by the last enemy. It's probably going to happen, so don't be too surprised if it does. Nope, there we go. <laughs> okay, we actually did prevail. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. There we go. Okay, so we did lose 13, but that's okay, because as I, you know, as I said, we're going to be gaining some unique units every seven days. I don't know how many, but hopefully it's going to be a pretty decent amount. So, can I rebel? Goodbye. I'm going to be taking Monk War... Oh. Uh, yeah, I'd have to swap out a huge amount of them. Never mind. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so is there anything here that I can take that's a little bit better than what I have? Well, there's the Naganatas. The Naganatas right here. Obviously, they're pretty decent pole arms. But that's not the one I was talking about. Okay, so let's just, you know, let everyone choose what they want. And they're going to take some armor and things like that. That's nice. And I'm going to take some things to sell because obviously I need the money. But other than that, there you go. Okay, so you've taken Midera. What will you do from here? You have enough leadership to control two forts and currently have zero under your control. Aha, I see. So leadership does have an effect on these forts. Okay. Yeah, this is mine now. I will be taking it. I will not pretend that we are a peaceful sect, but the karma that you will gain from putting us all to the sword will ensure your rebirth in the lowest of hells for all eternity. I am not so sure of that, but I will study the relevant sutras to find out if you would, but join hands with me. Ah, okay, well, there you go. Meet the deputy you left in charge, man of the, manage the garrison? Okay, well, I'm, I guess I'm going to be doing that. Isn't that awesome? I think that's really awesome. I really like that addition because in the, you know, older versions of Gekukujo that I played, I think it was 2.1, the last one I played, there was nothing like this. So it's really, really nice to see that. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.